Are you ready? Hey guys, Jeff aka Geekers here. How are you all doing this evening? It is currently 5.08 on the 27th of August 2024. I hope you're all having a great, great day. I can tell you who's not having a great day, even though he's trying to put on uh, a tough front. I can tell you who's not having a great day, and that's Phil Burnell, or DSP as you uh, may know him. Yeah, it's actually been a little bit of a of a rough, turbulent uh, day for Phil. Yesterday, Phil Brooks, Phil Brooks, why did I say Phil Brooks? Oh, I'm thinking of CM Punk. Anyway, Phil Burnell, DSP Gaming, the king, as you all know. Uh, he he went on to uh the uh Kino Casino podcast. And here, let me actually turn this on now. There you go. He went on to the Kino Casino, and he he thought he thought it was all going to be nice and rainbows. And the reason why did he think it was going to be all rainbows was he was going to be one of two guests on that show. Uh oh, God, I can't recall what the other person's name is. I think it may be Josh Moon. I may be wrong about that, but basically, it's supposed to be DSP Gaming, Phil Burnell, Jack Holt, if you want to. You know, if you want another nickname, and the uh, the site owner of Kiwi Farms, and uh, Phil thought he was going to have a uh, have a banner day, and he was just going to be able to tear into uh, our boy at from Kiwi Farms. Hold on, let me actually let me let me just pause this real quick because I I want to make sure I know who I'm talking like, get the name of the person I'm talking about. I'll be right back. Okay, so I was right. It, uh, the owner's name of TV Farms is Josh Moon. Okay, so Phil thought he was going to be able to tear into our boy Josh because in Phil's mind, Kiwi Farms has been doing uh, irreparable harm to him and his loved ones and his family and, and basically everybody, and to which I got to fucking laugh my ass off because Phil really doesn't care about anyone but himself. That that's not that's not uh, a simple allegation. That is that that's been shown throughout history. He prefers to have his sick wife and sick girlfriend when he had a girlfriend at the time make him dinner when they were sick. He uh, lied about his parents dying. He lied about. Uh, violating YouTube's uh, AdSense program. Oh, uh, hey guys, I'm in this program, so if you click these, or if you interact with these ads, you know what I mean? That would greatly help. And then when YouTube fucking shit cans him, I didn't do anything, I didn't do that, it was all to everybody else. No, no, Phil, you fucked up, you fucked up. But, we're not talking about uh, things that Phil did 10 plus years ago. We're talking about what Phil, what happened to Phil yesterday. So, I'm going to switch over to this now. Wait, hold on. Ah. I'm going to, go on. Oh, it's one. There you go. Sorry about that. Now, on to here. Okay, now I feel fucking stupid. I forgot to turn on my microphone. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to show you a quick image to give you an idea what you can expect in this video. You ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's uh, pull back this, pull this back up. So our boy Phil, he uh, was forced to basically uh, admit and, and, well, I don't, I don't even say he really admit. He fucking dug his heels into the dirt, and he was literally forced, which is which is fucking sad. He was forced to uh, claim, make a claim, which I do not blame, believe at all. I will go on record and say I do not believe that he took the actions that he promised. Uh, one of his, uh, one of his, uh, oh God, his fans. His fans, that's what I was trying to say. One of his fans has a history, not not like long-term history, but I mean like 
Like, not like he did something a long time ago and he's been clean, you know? No, 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 no. He has a long-running history of sexual deviancy. That's right. We're going there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go there. But first, I want to tell... This video is going to be kind of uh, talking about two different topics. And, you know, one is going to kind of lead into the other. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Josh Moon. So let's get to this right now. So three, two, one. I watched some of your recent Casey interview with Josh. You nailed it perfectly when you said the root issue is a moral disagreement. He often contradicted himself, and I think deep down he isn't happy. You know, you never know. You don't know because you can't really see inside the mind of someone else or the heart of someone. Okay, so this is fucking making me throw up. For, for the last few weeks, even, ever since he became uh, the king, as he's been uh, proclaiming himself, he's been on this moral crusade about what is moral and what is just. And I find that to be a fucking joke. When he has a sexual deviant in his inner circle. But anyway, I forgot to also mention that this clip comes to us from our friends at Atlas, the Clip Keeper. So let, let's continue on. Else, All you can do is believe what they say, maybe read body language. We couldn't read body language because he didn't have a webcam, right? So all we can do is trust his word. And if he says he's happy with what he's doing, good for him. But you notice I ended the show, the interview, with a word of warning to him. The, the allegory, or was it a comparison, whatever it was about the Frankenstein's monster? Because I really do feel like that Kiwi Farms is going to kill him. I mean, I don't mean it's going to physically, like, come and murder him. I'm saying, like, running a site like that and having to constantly move it around the internet just because you want to have the best drama site on the internet, I, I just don't see the point. Literally, at the end of the day, no one is going to... I'm going to be honest here. At the end of the day, no one's going to remember Josh Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms. Okay, so th this is what I want to kind of talk about first. And by the end of this topic here, it'll spin into the next part. Okay, so. I, Phil thinks that basically Josh is going to disappear and become a nobody. So what if he does? Josh may disappear into the, into the nether realm, you know, and history will never remember him. That's true. That, that that could possibly happen. It's true. It could happen to me also. Or P or history could remember me as a piece of shit. You know, it, it, it's up to history or, you know, up to the history books, basically. But. But. Let's let's not fucking beat around the bush here, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think history is going to look more favorably upon? Huh? Huh? Do you think history is going to look more favorably upon an obese content creator who likes to do reaction videos and likes to show off his Transformers collection while also, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, change the life of people who he works with? Do you think that history is going to look bad upon me? Do you think history is going to look bad upon a person who owns a drama site? Or, 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 do you think history is going to have an issue? With somebody who is allowing a sexual deviant to stay in his inner circle. This isn't anything new. This is something that has been brought to Phil's attention. Day in, day out, time after time. People would go to Phil... And literally tell Phil. Now, when I say go to Phil, I mean Louie in chat. Because Phil's, you know, too fucking chicken shit to actually talk to people face to face. Anyway. People have told Phil numerous, if not hundreds of times. Hey, this Derek person. Uh, technically, Jeff, his name is Derish. Yeah, well, he's also technically a sexual deviant. Would you prefer me to call him Derek or a sexual deviant? That's your choice. Anyway, people have literally gone to Phil and said, Phil, this guy is problematic. We do not feel comfortable here. And what did Phil do? He would, scor he would scorn those con the people with those concerns. He would outright sometimes ban those people with concerns 
or he would play down uh the the predator's uh intentions and how much of a threat he is no phil you don't get to to get to play the innocent card it is not my fault it is not the detractor's fault it's not the troll's fault it's not the uh it's not kiwi farmer's fault and not it's not josh moon's fault it's not casey's fault it's not panda lee's fault it's not cat's fault it's not jasper's fault it's your fault it's your fault that you continued to let that sexual deviant run wild what's the old saying roosters come home uh chickens come home to roost or some shit like that guess what phil But yeah, so that, you know, but basically, who is history going to look, uh, look on with a, uh, with a scornful eye, I guess you could say. Is it, is it me? Possibly. Is it Josh Moon? Possibly. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to look upon Phil a lot worse at the fact that Phil had years to get rid of this problem, and he did not. This is nobody's fault but Phil's. Okay, let's continue on. They're just not. What they're going to remember is Kiwi Farms, which was a toxic website. That's all they're going to remember. Even if his intention is good, sadly, that's the stigma that site has now. Uh, he's basically deflecting. He's deflecting because he knows that the, the fire is touching him right now. And he is fucking trying everything to avoid uh, the upcoming topic. But I feel like, sadly, it's going to crash and burn for him. And I hope that he gets out before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, Cosmos with a super chat. Congrats on Civil Josh Talk and banning you-know-who. If similar success goes with Keem and your documentary, you should be clear for positive inflation. Well, first off, due to a, an addendum on that, yes, we banned you-know-who. Yes, we banned him on every single channel because my moderators actually figured out there's a way to seek out people on channels even if they're not actively in the chat, and we banned him there too. We've also uh, basically banned his name from the chat. Okay, I do not believe a damn thing he's saying. Phil Burnell has been known for lying, ladies and gentlemen. He has been known for lying. Phil Burnell claims that he banned uh, the, the sexual deviant from all uh, from all manners of his from you his YouTube channels and all that. Prove it. Prove it. Show us your blocked user list. Show us your blocked user list. Show us your blocked user list for your streams also. And don't fucking say that. Oh, I don't know how to do that, or I cannot. Bullshit. You can. Open up a display capture. Set it to your computer screen that you have whatever your browser on and show us. Until he shows us, I do not believe a damn thing he has said. The reason why I do not believe a damn thing he has said is because he has a track history of protecting that, that piece of shit. Even the guys at KC, even the guys at KC was uh telling Phil that it's Fucked up that Phil was basically going to bat for this guy. And this whole this whole argument, this fucking argument that Phil liked to try to use. Well, well, it's better to know the devil that, that, that you know that I'm aware of than not know the devil that I'm aware of. That shit doesn't work. Josh even said that shit was a joke. You are a joke, Phil Burnell. You are complacent in offering safe harbor to that sexual deviant. It's not my fault. It's not the detractor's fault. It's nobody else's fault but your own that you're feeling the heat right now. And you should be. You should be. You opened up Pandora's box by not 
getting rid of that predator when you had a chance. And your whole fear of, well, if I, if I block the deviant, it would empower the detractors. Why, why the fuck shouldn't it? They're right. They're fucking right. There has been videos, numerous videos made showing how, how, what's the word I'm thinking of? Showing how perverted your best buddy is. I don't believe a fucking thing you say when it comes to banning that deviant. Show us proof that you actually carry through. Get a get a pair of balls. What, what happened? Did Cat take your balls? Are your balls actually being held by Tyrone right now? I want to see proof. If you can actually show proof, verifiable proof, that you actually did ban that sexual uh, tyrant, I was going to say sexual, that sexual deviant, I'll go out and say, hey, I was wrong. Bill actually does have a pair of balls in this one manner. But he's not going to do it. Because Bill will claim, well, if I, if I show this proof, the detractors will use it against me and he, they'll hurt my family. And yada, 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 yada. Same tired old shit. Bill Burnell. This is not something you can easily beg your way out of. Because we have trolls coming and now literally just spamming his name and saying gross stuff. And also making accounts and stuff with his name. So that's all done as of now. It's all done. It's wiped. It's, it's history. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch my interview with Kino Casino and Josh Boone from yesterday. And you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it's actually clipped right now. Over on the Kino Casino Clips channel. You can check it out here on YouTube. Go check it out there. Because it's more edited for time and it's better. Um, so there you go. Uh, go check it out. And we're done. There's no other further discussion. I've already talked about it. It's over. Oh, motherfucker, it is not over. Simply because you say it's over. Oh, it's not fucking over until we say it's over. No, you don't get to control the narrative of you offering safe harbor to that, uh, to that sexual deviant. See, this is one thing Phil likes to do. He tries to claim control. And if there's nobody to constantly stand up against him, he will think that he won. I think it's best if this light continues to be sh uh, shined on Phil. Let the entire internet know that when people were going to Phil Burnell about the risk that this uh, predator had or predator presented, that Phil did nothing. In fact, in fact, if you want to say, you know, you, you could actually go far as say, not only did Phil not heed the warnings, Phil actually punished the people who were warning him. Oh, that really doesn't look good now, does it? You have a you have your best buddy who has video who has playlist after playlist after playlist of little girls. You have your best buddy who would constantly send offensive tweet after tweet after tweet to various females on the internet. You have your best bud who talked about at length what he would like to do to those ladies that he would tweet out. No, Phil, this is not something that you're gonna be able to just walk away from. And this is sure as hell something that you cannot just try to sweep under the rug. And like I said, the fact that you took your best bud's side over your own viewers, the people who are paying you, that tells you, that, that should tell everybody what kind of Phil, what kind of Phil, what kind of person Phil Burnell is. The answer is, he's not a good person.
it it was so fucking bad that he, the only reason the only reason that Phil uh I, I I was gonna do quotes the only reason that he basically gave in and claimed that he banned his best bud which I don't fucking th- believe that he did at all he did not bl- he did not block Derek he didn't block him at all the only reason that he said that he did is because oh god i don't know the fucking their goddamn names the people from casey they basically told phil yeah phil if you keep having this guy as a friend our, our viewers may not be happy and that's what fucking changed everything he doesn't want to lose money those viewers bring a lot of green ladies and gentlemen and this should also tell his loyal viewers not the not the viewers from Q, from kino casino this should tell this should be a wake up call to all the people who the 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 loyal viewers that watch phil your jades your oics your sarahs this should tell you exactly how much he thinks of you when you guys could go to him and say hey Derek is problematic you may want to do something and you didn't and he did nothing but when the thought of lost money comes into the picture oh oh boy oh boy we can't have that now can we time to ban Derek not really okay Derek just just make a new profile Derek and when the fire goes down you can come back don't worry derek you're still my best bud these guys these guys over here they're fucking fools those guys over in in kino casino they're fucking fools i think i can play the system the problem is phil we see the game that you're playing no you're not going to get to ask me in fact the same fucking literally goodbye I'm serious. I'm not even kidding you. As I'm saying this right now, someone in chat says, oh, well, why did you take you so long to fuck? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get out of my chat and don't come back. The king decree. See, this is what he wants. He wants. He wants the fire to, to go down. If the fire goes down, he walks. We need to keep that fire up so other people can see that there is an underbelly to YouTube streamers. Not all streamers, but some. Phil is one of them. Please, you are a plebeian and a little wimp and a peon. Get the fuck out of the king's court. I'm tired of wasting my time repeating myself. The king does not repeat himself. <laughs> He's trying to act like it's all a joke. It's not. Phil Burnell. You basically admitted to offering safe harbor to a sexual deviant this is not something that you can just joke your way out of and the whole excuse of well i never checked i never uh did any background checks i never ch looked into the activity of my best friend i don't buy that i don't buy that at all phil i think that you knew what he was doing and because you are such buddy buddy with him you would rather lose non-paying loyal viewers than actually give up your best bud and why do i think that you did not want to punish him because i think he was doing work for you under the table i think he was doing graphics I think he was doing uh, audio, possibly. I think he was doing thumbnails. I think that whatever he could do to help you run that piece of shit setup you have, he was helping you with it. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's all I basically want to talk about. Phil is, Phil is having a hard day. He wants that light to go he wants that light to go dark it's our job to make sure that it doesn't 
people who uh, people who protect deviants are cowards. And if Derek ever gets arrested for his activities, hmm, that's not going to look good for Phil, is it? Take it easy, everybody. Peace out.